Hi, everyone. I have a special guest with me, and I would like you to welcome him. He's Ronald Stewart. We attend the same church at Wesley, and we sing on the same choir. We have been friends for what, Ronald, 30 years or more? Yeah. yeah. How about that? <laughs> and he is here to share his recent experience with Bell Palsy. And if you have been watching Wesley Church Service on Sundays. This is our videographer. So you get to see and hear him. Take it away right. now. Welcome to everybody who's joining us. And it's a opportunity that I appreciate. Um, I sent this invitation to okay. share with you that experience. Thank you for coming. And we will be sharing our screen so that Ronald can share his recent experience of Bell Palsy. This, this one. That, that's three days before I had the experience. The, the next. So that, that is me looking normal. Here, um, it's about day five of the, the experience, it, which started on Saturday, the 26th of March. And as you could notice, there's a slight twist. Um, as you could see uh, of my mouth. Thereafter, that was the 5th of April. So I was like, uh, in the second week of it, where the, the twist um, is more pronounced. And then thereafter, that was taken on Easter Sunday um, when basically I declared up. And in, in essence, Bell palsy is a condition that it's activated by a virus that lives within the nerves. Um, it's generally caused by if you have had chicken pox um, at some point in um, in the past, um, in, in my case, I could recall it happened uh, 13 years ago. Wow. Uh, and it affects um, the trigeminal nerves, as you could see. One branch of the nerves go to the top of the head, and then the um, nerves that, and, and those nerves control the eyelids and um, the, the eyebrows and that part of the face above the, 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 the forehead um, or at the forehead. Okay. And then the maxillary are those nerves that are above the um, top jaw, as you'd call it, the upper jaw. That's and great. the mandibula is those nerves that are um, near the lower jaw. And these three um, branches of nerves um, are what control all the muscles in the face. And one of the things that I was reading even earlier is that because uh, the effect that it has, what what uh, when the germ, sorry, when the, when the virus gets virus. activated, it causes inflammation and swelling of the nerve, and therefore the nerve cannot communicate with the muscle. And so you see that twist because. There, are, these muscles are on both sides of, not not muscles. These the nerves are on nerve. both sides of your face, and so when one side is affected, which is generally the case of that condition, Bell palsy, um, you will see that that twist, that twist. And all I had to to do this is just another um, image to show that one is the ophthalmic nerve and the area that it controls. The second is the maxillary, the nerves that are in that area of the upper jaw. And three is those near the lower jaw okay. and the muscles that are controlled within that. So all these things work together. And it was not until I had the experience that I um, did some research and found out more about it and my willingness to share, as um, Cynthia has asked, uh, is to let persons understand that one, uh, friends of mine who saw it when it began to happen, 
um, were concerned that it was a um, stroke. But then no, knowing um, that I am, I don't have any pre-existing condition, I don't take medication, um, basically, exercise. <laughs> yeah, healthy lifestyle, um, I, I knew it wasn't that, and so I wasn't worried, but within half an hour, the experience, but I was before, before you tell us about going to the doctor, can you tell us how it first started? Like, where were you? Well, what had happened, um, uh, and this is my my belief, okay. is that I had gone to bed normal the, the, the night before, and I had forgotten to close one window in my bedroom. bedroom. And okay. that weekend, it was, we, we were experiencing a cold front. Oh, okay. um, when I woke up um, early morning, I didn't um, feel cold or anything, but I just closed the window. Okay. And when I woke up about two and a half hours later, and when I went to um, brush my, my teeth, then is when I found on one side of the mouth, um, felt as if though when anesthesia is wearing off when you go to the dentist. Oh, and okay. I recognized no. that something was wrong, but okay. wasn't quite sure. And then the, the, the relaxation, of, if you will, of the muscles came later on in the day, um, closer around between 10.30 and 11 in the morning. And by 11.30, I was seeing the doctor. Okay. You, know, you would like to share which doctor helped you? For that, um, that was um, Dr. Daniel Godinez. Uh, okay. I'm sure my twin brother and a friend, they made the arrangements and he said, meet him there at his office in 15 minutes. And when I was pulling up, he was parking in, in the parking lot as well. Wow. Um, we did a brief consultation and um, eliminated the the um possibility that it was a stroke and what what did he ask stroke. you to do to know that it wasn't a stroke he simply asked me to raise my hands um above my head um okay. extended fully and then he asked me if there was any heaviness of my tongue and okay. and all if there was any headache uh, because then it could also have been if there was maybe a tumor in, on my brain but i i knew it, it was none of those things and okay. i wasn't fearful I just... Um, I think that was a plus for you. You are always a positive person, Ronald. <laughs> well, thanks, yes. And, and so when I um, consulted with him and he um, prescribed the medication, mm -hmm. I would say within three hours of that consultation, I got the medication and I started taking them. Um, one was um, a medication to um, decrease or, or eventually eliminate the... Um, inflammation of okay. the, the nerves okay. and then there was some B vitamins that I got to also nourish them and make the, the connection back with the, the muscles so that everything could be back to normal. So those photographs that you saw over the period and now as I speak, um, it is over a three week period that there was the, the stages that I went through. When I consulted with Dr. Godinez, he told me um, generally it would be about six weeks at a minimum. Okay. What my, was I, I, I got through the whole experience in just um, about three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Some people, it can be as six months or it can be forever, right? Yeah, because in some instances, it could be a permanent mm -hmm. disfigurement. Um, some other instances it would take longer and in, in my case it was only about a three week period okay. from start to when it when the nerves um reconnected with the muscles and the communications throughout the systems could could have gotten back to where they were before did, did you do any massage yes um i i did a massage and i i'd like to thank Buffett smith who um, was the one I either heard when I was visiting her her salon, okay. and immediately she she started to work, thinking that it was a stroke. But as I said, I knew it wasn't, and the doctor confirmed that. And then I continued because how often um, she massaged you? Yeah, the, the the face and eyes. So like I would have to pull the the eyebrows up, pull the eyelids down because um at the time when that occurred 
there was no kind of communication between the nerve and the muscle and therefore um i had to do it manually i had to use my you have hands. to manually close your eyes yeah. Um. yeah the 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 left eye was unaffected so i could do that but and i used to look in the mirror and uh, recognize how one side of the face was working because the the that side of the face was not affected um by the the, the virus okay. and so um i was able to get that through with the medication to as i said eliminate the inflammation that the, the virus caused yeah. and i was able to um simultaneously take the the, the vitamins that were um food to, to build um the connection back um, and strengthen the nerves and then the communication flowed. all right so let, ronald i would say you had a lesson and you also had a blessing because this could have been a permanent case for you but god has helped you to bring back your face almost back to normal and you will know when you feel it completely but for yeah, now you yeah, can say it's completely that, back yeah what what um i have experienced was you know maybe because i was the one who was experiencing i knew that for me my speech sounded a bit slurred because okay. my mouth was differently okay. and it, it goes to show how important that for there to be balance on your face so that you could even chew properly for okay. you to be able to, to swallow so it stop you from they, they, chewing they properly uh, in yeah. some instances i was biting the, the the my inner jaw because oh my. the muscles weren't, weren't there so i had to be careful i had to um be slow in chewing okay. because all those muscles were just relaxed okay. but everything is, is is back to normal now all right let's give a hand and, clap uh, up and thank god for thank bringing you, you back and, and one of the things i would recommend um for all of you who are um tuned in who are listening should you have an experience like that or anybody that you are acquainted with it could be a relative a friend a co-worker neighbor what have you seek medical attention right away mm -hmm. don't delay because in some instances it could be something else and if yes. it is a stroke um usually within the first few hours that you having that experience is the best time to get um full recovery yeah so um whatever the the condition is make sure that you seek medical attention right away yes thank you rana you know, first sorry go ahead go ahead you know, I would that it, it's it's such a little time but the nature of the, the, the program as you do uh, Cynthia, is just to give nuggets and um, yes. there are there are persons who would want um, additional information they could always reach out and i could share more very good more. all right thank you ronald it really oh it's an eye opener for all of us and i definitely hope that those who need this information may be able to get it and thank you so much for being so brave to share your picture even though you look back normal and thank god that you are okay again and thank Thanks. you for sharing with us i i always look at it i say whenever we have experiences i say it's god's way of using us so that we could inform um, other. about experiences that we have and the fact that fit leads us um in in ways that fear won't yes and ronald all didn't share this but we have a a prayer group at wesley church and we were all praying for him so Great. thank you ronald yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes thank you too cynthia yes and thank you, you for are welcome joining yes thanks everyone right. that's it for today and we hope you can learn a lot from what Ronald said. Thanks again, Ronald, and thanks all of you for joining in in our and sharing with Ronald his experience.